you to get to Santa Claus? Do you ever wonder where they where they go? channel natural sister j a if you have a like and subscribe as it please do so now so guys it has been a while you haven't seen us heard from us in action however i'm here to tell you um the reason why you haven't been seen or hearing from us guys is because we were having some technical issues with our video um however we thank you so much for your understanding and your patience during these hard times when we couldn't get to post any videos but we're trying our very best to try to get those issues resolved and back in action once more um twana is not gonna do with me today because this video is a little um some a little mini tip on christmas shopping so what i want you to do is to stick around and i'll be back hey guys if you have a like and subscribe in this video please do so now hit that notification bell hit that thumbs up so whenever we have videos out you'll be notified thank you ladies and gentlemen may i have your attention please the show starts in 10 9 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. All right, so the first thing was the first shipping, shopping, sorry, rather, on my list. Because, you know, when it comes down to the Christmas season, uh, most of us tend to shop a little excessive than we would regular do so i'm just giving you some advice as regards to um kind of have your shopping organized in a sense and i do hope that these shopping tips will help you along the way if you haven't um, planned to you know have any shopping ideas or so you can use this to help you kind of threaten your shopping ideas and tricks and so on and tips along the way just to make your shopping a bit easier and for you to um be on a good budget so my first shipping tip would be think of the item you need so what you need to do is think of the item that you need uh make a list of course jot down the items that you need of course want but the most essential things and you know how the food prices and certain items are becoming so expensive so think of the item that you need that's number one so the other one would be as i said write down so compare prices if you have the time to compare prices you can do so if you know that x place have it for that and x place have it for that that you normally shop you can kind of compare the prices to see if you can get better um better value then or you can kind of save a dollar or two the other one is have a budget so have an estimate on what you plan to spend have an estimated amount of money that you plan to spend whether it be 50 100 thousand 20 thousand have an estimate budget that you say oh it's 50 thousand and if i'm gonna buy x and x um within the budget of 20 thousand and whatever i need or is it that i want i i'm gonna spend it within that um budget that i have yeah so that is a good idea sometimes i know that because of the things that they're so expensive sometimes um the money tend to go over the estimated budget but that's why i say just have a little an estimate then so you might budget for 20 but bring a 25 with you you know just to kind of because we know that things are raised so we have to kind of like have that idea so oh i'm gonna budget for 20 but i might have a 24 23 just in stock in case you know something is more expensive than a few weeks or a few months um before the other one is um avoid putting all your cash in 
in one place and that is very strongly advised and the reason why i say so is that for example if you're going on the road and you have your purse my advice to you is if you have a large amount or a large sum of money um i advise you to like kind of split them up so you could put them in maybe a purse in your bag some in your purse some in your bag some in your pocket if you have a little bit of change in your pocket but ensure that wherever you place the money it's, it's especially if it's a huge sum do not place them in one place if you're that careful and you know that wherever you're going it's somewhat safe and secure then if that's also you fine or if you're that careful and you know you know you're very vigilant then nothing is wrong with that but i advise not to put all your cash in one place so especially when you come to this season you know you know there's a lot of robbing and so on that's going on the other one is buying books if you can so as much as possible around this time if you can buy your things in bulk that would be great look up for expiration days of course and when you buy a bulk in bulk you tend to see your way through better yeah you tend to see your way through better when it comes to prices and so on so i'd advise you if you can buy in bulk try and see how best you can make that target um and of course send your parcel a letter to Santa early. Oh, good morning. Welcome to my humble toy factory. As you see, me and my elves have lots of work making sure every child gets what they dream of. Indeed, we're preparing your gifts too. I'm just joking. <laughs> Alright guys, so what I want to advise you, we have come to the end of our Christmas shopping tip. And what I want to receive advice, we want to leave this advice to be careful, be vigilant out there. We know that it's the Christmas season and anything can, can happen. I'm so sorry for the noise that you're hearing in the background. Some construction is going on outside, hence the reason why you're hearing this noise and I'm so sorry for that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stay long. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's when you come from Natural Sisters TV. Bye, Santa Claus. Do you ever wonder where these rainbows go? Santa Claus. Do you ever come to the ghetto? Bye.